it's really important when you're playing to have a sense of when to let the ball go because if you make the right guess, you win the point because your opponent's shot is going out. I'll see oftentimes players will play balls that are really high and hit hard at them, whereas if they would have just let the ball go and not touched it, it would have hit the back fence. So here are some examples of balls that you should let go. So I'm just getting out of the way of the ball when it's hit with some velocity and hit that high. Now, if your opponent puts some amazing topspin on the ball, then there's a chance that that ball could start falling, but I'm willing to gamble that if it's this high and hit really hard, it's going out. So I'll see a lot of players and they'll actually play those shots when they shouldn't, right? It creates a difficult situation for me, but it's also a ball that would have gone out had I not touched it. So again, high, I let it go. Now, if that ball starts coming down a little bit as it's crossing the net, maybe I think it's going to be a little bit below chest height, then those are balls that I need to play. So that one's definitely going to go in if I let it go when he's hitting it below chest height. See how that ball's landing in the court? So when he's hitting it below my chest height, then that ball's typically going to be in, especially if he's putting some topspin on it. 